This show takes you into a trauma center, which is very different than an ER. This isn't about individuals saving the day, it's the team saving the day. If they're not sent here, they will not have a chance at survival. This is actually based off of one of the premier hospitals in the country. It's a great mix of medicine, of character, with the Bruckheimer flash. Jerry Bruckheimer? I've heard that name. You come on the lot and the huge stages and look at this enormous set that's been built. And everything is shot beautifully. It looks wonderful. It's very sexy. It's got a little more edge to it. You know, it's got a lot of action. Golden hour. Last 60 minutes for doctors to save a soul. That circle in the drain, you meet your maker. If they're not dying right now, then they go to the regular ER. These are patients that are going to die that are extremely critical. If you don't make all the right decisions in that short period of time, that person will not survive. And that creates an environment of extreme intensity. Everybody clear? Trauma doc, best and brightest. Rock stars in medicine. The ones here at Miami Trauma One, they're the Rolling Stones. I think trauma surgery certainly takes a bit of the adrenaline junkie. I think the goal of the show is to save people as opposed to, well, you win some, you lose some. I think we win a little bit more because you got the best and the brightest surgeons from around the world. It's the place you get dirty and P.S. you have to be the best at what you do. It's going to bleed out. Lesser hands and slower feet, maybe. Not with us at the wheel. We do have, you know, moments of, you know, relationship, relationship-driven storylines and levity and humor and all of that. But I think the driving force of the show is the fact that we are always in a position of almost having to be heroes. Now he's not dying. He says we make this guy better. I think they must be sort of modern-day saints, really. I just want one night where the weight of life and death isn't hanging in the balance. It's extremely difficult and challenging, and learning the terminology is... I, I, this is probably the hardest job I've ever had in my career. Having to believe everything you say, understand everything you say, make it look real, although you have no idea what you're saying. I mean, I can't imagine having to actually know how to employ all the tools and the instruments, and I have enormous respect for those who can. Getting your head round, getting your mouth round the dialogue is the day-to-day -day test of it. It's just, can you, can you say it? And today, for instance, I can't. <laughs> You'll be all right, don't worry. Doctor? You got a doctor in here?